Okay, today we're going to learn a little bit about the extrude feature. New standard IPTs, we're going to create a part. Start 2D sketch. Just going to do a basic rectangle. Right click OK. Finish your sketch. Takes us to our 3D modeling. We're going to click on extrude. So extrude is usually it can be either an additive process or a subtractive. Whenever you've only got one surface, it's going to be additive. Um, but you have several different options. You have direction one, which brings it out to the left side. You can also go the other way, which would be direction two. Or you can go symmetrically between them, where here's that same plane, going the same before and the same after, as well as asymmetrically. So if you wanted to make one longer, significantly longer, you could, and go in two different directions. Um, there's also the factor under more, if you're ever up in there. You can go ahead and change a, dra a taper angle um, to say how far you want something to taper. So here you might want to go a little bit larger as it goes. Here you could either go larger or you could even put in a negative number as well to make it go smaller. Both of those functions are available. We're actually just going to zero them out. Um, so we're just going to come do a regular extrude so we get our basic shape right here uh, so from there we can go ahead and see the cut feature so let's make another plane on front of it we're going to make a sketch right on that front surface we'll go back to our extrude you can see that you can be in the join aspect where it adds two features together or you can do a cut where it's going to cut a hole right through there so you can see it right there or you could go ahead and um, do a intersection. This is where the two feet, two uh, objects intersect, intersect each other. So either one of those options, you can also go into there as well and go into your taper and adjust the taper of stuff. So that's the basics about using extrude.